What's going on, my friends? My name's Corrupt, and it is time to teach you how to three-star the brand new August Qualifier Challenge. This time around, we're going to be using the P.E.K.K.A. Smash from none other than Vic of JX Tigers. You're first going to start with your Grand Warden Walk. Now, you want to make sure that you are placing him right about here. That way, he goes in for the Inferno Tower. Now, while this is going on, and once you place in your healers, use an archer. This is going to be enough in order to clear through the army camp that's right behind my head, and that way what you're able to do is set the other side of the funnel. The main goal for this is you want to make sure that the Grand Warden targets the cannon, and then you want to use a rage spell so you're able to go in for the Inferno. The main reason for this is this is exactly how Vic did it. You want to make sure that he goes in for the Inferno and then the Dark Elixir Drill. Depending on where he's positioned, he will go in different directions. If you place him more to the left, he might go up towards the air defense. If you place him more to the right, he might go down towards the Elixir Collectors. So you really just got to keep up that patience. And if you're struggling with the placement, you can always restart. You have unlimited tries. So now this is where things get a little bit quicker. So you're going to start with your queen and your P.E.K.K.A. You're going to use your Barbarian King with some witches to create one side of the funnel using a Super Wall Breaker, Log Launcher, and your Ice Golems with the rest of your P.E.K.K.A. Smash to move in. You should bring a Headhunter if you're dealing with an enemy Barbarian King and use a Party Wizard along with a Super Wall Breaker to open up the base. This allows you to then use your Grand Warren ability and an early Rage spell to start moving yourself into the base. You should use your Royal Champion on the Mortar, that way you're able to control where your Barbarian King goes. You also want to deal with the enemy CC by using a Poison spell and a Freeze spell. Now in terms of controlling your P.E.K.K.A.s and Super Wizards, I found that most of the time they will wander onto the outside. So the only way for them to stay inside the base is if the expo from the queen compartment gets taken down, which is why I mentioned that using the Barbarian King to go in for the expo and in for that area is really, really important. That way you can control your P.E.K.K.A.s and Super Wizards so they don't go on the outside. So while all of this is going on, you can then start to send all of your troops into the core of the base. You could have an Ice Golem pop, which could really help you a lot, and you're going to mostly use those Rage spells in order to make sure that you are able to push your troops through. More specifically, you want to get the Yetis and the P.E.K.K.A.s over to the Town Hall, even if they trip a tornado. Overall, what you want to make sure that you're doing, though, is using that jump spell not just to jump into the Town Hall compartment, but also the Scattershot compartment. You should still have the Royal Champ ability towards the end of this, and you should even still have your Queen at roughly full health. This is exactly how you can use it. A lot of it is very dependent on placement of troops and timing, but overall, this can be used incredibly well, and you can see all of the troops I still have on the field, and you can get a pretty simple three-star by just following this tutorial. I've also got some more content for you guys to check out right over here, and make sure also to subscribe and ring the bell, and use code corrupt. I'll catch you in the next video. Corrupt, signing out.